Hi, this is Adam. This is another Eye on North Carolina blog. We are here in Durham, North Carolina at Coco Cinnamon. We're here with the owner, Arelli, to talk about this wonderful, great place. And right now I'm having the leftist espresso, which I heard is one of the best espressos here. So delicious. It's really good. I'm like, one more. <laughs> really good. So we're here with Arelli to talk about Coco Cinnamon and uh, when did you guys open and what was the inspiration behind it? Um, we opened the shop to our friends and Kickstarter backers on January 19th of last year. Um, but we started off as a bike in, um, in Durham. Uh, I don't even know the day, but we started in 2011 as a bike and um, just kind of went to farmer's markets, went to the detail market, which is like right up the street. Um, Coco Cinnamon is located on Gear Street um, in Durham next to the old ballpark. So um, right up the street, I mean Motor Co. <laughs> yeah, we started on a bike um, for like a year, got some people to like get on board with us, nice. like what we were doing and got a following, did a Kickstarter and then opened up. But our main goal was to open Coco Cinnamon all along. A few things distinguish us. Um, this question is actually really funny to me because every time you ask like a coffee shop owner like what distinguishes them from all the other coffee shops, it's starting to become like the norm. And I, I was telling you about this earlier, like good coffee is just like starting to become the norm, which is amazing. Right. Um, but I think one thing that really distinguishes us is um, we are a multiple roaster company. Um, so that means we source um, or we get our coffee from Counterculture Coffee, Carborough Coffee, Gimme Coffee in Ithaca, New York, um, which is the leftist is from there. Which is delicious, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, so good. Um, and then we also source from Stumptown, which is in Portland, but their coffee comes from comes to us from New York. Um, and then every now and then we have Joe Van Gogh, which is also roasted here in Hillsboro, and they have some coffee shops here as well in Durham. I think the main driving force behind what distinguishes us is our love for history and um, the name Coco Cinnamon kind of was inspired by that, like the whole spice trade route and right. I don't know, just how like cinnamon and cloves were sought for, kind of like gold was. And then, for thousands of years. Yeah, and because of that you like have the world we live in now, you know, like right. if it wasn't for those things, Columbus wouldn't set sail and then like, you know, like all of the little things that fell into place and so that's kind of what we delve into and when, um, you know, obviously quality is really important to us but keeping coffee down to earth is also very important to us. Um, with coffee, we, we offer drip in the morning for like on the go. We just extended the hours for that. Um, we're a very kind of open business. Yeah. <laughs> a little chilly. It is. We're a very open business in the sense that we love feedback and we want our place to be a community place, so the feedback is important to us. So a lot of people were um, kind of not necessarily telling us that they wanted it, but kind of telling us in their roundabout ways that they wish drip coffee was available. Because right now we do hand poured coffees, um, which is how we were doing it on the bike. Um, and that's great. You ha you're open to constructive criticism. Yeah, I absolutely. mean, is, that's how you guys view it. When we opened in Janu on January 19th of last year, we put up signs saying like, "This is our beta mode opening," and we're nice. kind of still slowly getting out of that. We're s we like just put outside speakers <laughs> ah, <laughs> like I see. this week, and we've been open for a year. Stevie know? Nicks, I believe. Yes. Yes, she's really good. <laughs> really fortunate because we have kind of a really like diverse group that comes to Coco Cinnamon and we try to do that we you know we consciously try to like get people to come from all of Durham and we want to represent all of Durham behind the bar as well was this structure here previously or yeah it used to be an old gas station oh, wow. and right before us it was like a Pilates workout studio and that person um, did a lot of like the renovations of the inside before we got to it. I mean, we did our own renovations, but it was in so much better shape, I'm sure, than before she came into the building. And then inside is a lot of like we 
we started off Coco Cinnamon with very, very little money, but a lot of like, you know, muscle and will to get it done. Um, so we asked a lot of our like artist friends in Durham to like help us, like here's our idea, can you help us make it and we'll trade you in coffee. So That is awesome. Yeah, so everything inside is like reused materials from Durham. Um, and has some kind of like link to an artist in Durham. That's great. Do you have live music here? Mm, we've had a few kind of spontaneous music events, but we don't have anything scheduled like on the norm yet. That was something that when we were opening that we wanted to happen, but like I said, we're kind of slowly getting out of beta mode, so. Right, and I can see in the summertime, this patio, you can definitely accommodate musicians here and have oh, yeah. a, a great atmosphere. Yeah, one of I think one of the first musical like experiences we had at Coco Cinnamon was the Art of Cool jazz pop-up band. Um, they set up like right in the corner and then in the summertime we can open the garage doors oh, yeah. so it's really really nice um it truly really, like transformed the entire space just by having like live amazing jazz music outside. well i definitely want to take a look inside and see the baristas the bar and some of the uh, pastries that you guys have i heard you have some really good stuff in there yeah everything in the pastry case is local awesome okay. So we are behind the bar here with some of the coffee beans. And I think that the Java is probably a really popular one, just because it's a good solid, like kind of dark roasted coffee. Um, these two are from Gimme Coffee. This one's from Counterculture. This is a decaf blend from Stem Towns. So good, I drink like three Yeah, these things get fast. Yeah, here's our um, Kalita setup. Wow. This is what we brew our like hand poured coffees with. This is what um, Aaron McCarthy used to win the U.S. Brewer Championship. Um, we use a uh, Lama's Marsoco for our espresso machine, and we use um, um, bottomless porta filters. Um, this is a 22 gram basket, which means it lets us uh, hold at least 22 grams of coffee for like a triple ristretto is how we pull all of our shots. What is it? What is that? Just triple ristretto yeah. is a double shot with the amount of coffee of a triple shot. Um, so ristretto means restricted in Italian, so it's like, you know, a lot of coffee and a double shot makes it really concentrated, and really sweet, and delicious. I, but that's something that we're always like constantly experimenting with, like the dosage right. of the espresso. Right. Yeah. I'll have to try that. Maybe I have in the you past. Did. And I Actually, did. your espresso that's what it was, was a triple ah, shot. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. No wonder it was so good. <laughs> we offer two different espressos at all times. Um, Right now, on the, in the hopper, we have the Java from Gimme and the Leftist from Gimme. So one's an espresso blend, one's a single, single origin. Um, from time to time, we'll have two single origin options. That just means, um, single origin just means it's not a blend, it's from that one farm or right. origin. Right. And we have a decaf grinder, and this is a roper. I usually do not have the decaf. <laughs> the decaf's actually pretty good. Saturdays are so busy. Saturdays. Um, starting at like, I don't know, honestly I can't say that we've known our patterns. We don't know our patterns yet, just because Durham is such a good weather town. So whenever the weather's nice, like expect to be busy. Right. Which usually with coffee shops, it's like when the weather's really bad. Here. I mean, as people get to know that we're here, we're only a year old, um, we've been getting more and more business. And, um, yeah, I guess our peak hours are like, I don't know, it's been um, picking up at night, Durham's growing, so right. I think, we can't really put a, I know it's, uh, Saturdays and Sundays are super busy, like all day. We also kind of are located in a district that's surrounded by bars and, you know, um, we have a theater right across the street, Man Bites Dog, and so whenever they have a play happening, like, we get a lot of their, like, after play people and before the play. Yeah, so as I stated previous, um, we have a lot of artists inside this building that are kind of hidden within, like, the fabrics of everything, um, but everything that, like, all the materials that we use are kind of come from the, like, American tobacco factories, or just, like, the tobacco factories. Our friend Al Frega, um, used to like 
help with the demolition and so he kept a lot of the materials so like this big cabinet that used to be like a, a, a safety door that we cut in half Heather Gordon did the floor and the cool thing about the floor is that okay so Heather Gordon's an artist from Durham and she does like she'll take a sound or an image or whatever it is and like decode it into binary code and then map it out in some sort of like in whatever medium she wants and then like constructs her own image. Wow. So it is like binary code of a Walt Whitman poem, a Rumi poem, and um, Androids wave, brain waves for, that were put on like the um, Carl Sagan's like golden record that's in the Voyager. <laughs> I've never heard of anything like this. This is great. Yeah, so she hand painted that, and it's, and then this little cabinet of curiosities like slash fixing stations. Our friend Mariah um, did, and the tables that we were sitting at outside, she also did. Cool. Mariah Smith Overman is another Durham artist. It's amazing. So Aureli, thank you for uh, inviting us to come to your beautiful and tasty coffee shop here in Durham. I definitely love the tour and uh, I'll recommend everyone to come out here. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Um, we hope to see everybody who's watching this video here. We want to thank Aureli for inviting us over here to Coco Cinnamon. This was great. I had the... Dan which Danish did I have? Uh, Danish curl. Danish curls. You guys have to have that. It is <laughs> awesome. And uh, come on down here. It's a great atmosphere. And we hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye.